It's the meeting of the two sides who put the romance back in the FA Cup this season. Sutton and Lincoln have been the talk of the nation for the past few months and tonight they come face to face in what should be a mouth-watering 90 minutes. Sutton are looking to complete the double over the National League leaders and Paul Doswell selects the same side who put five past North Ferriby here on Saturday. Danny Cowdy's team come off an impressive 3-1 victory over Forest Green and he sticks with the 11 who started that game. So Sutton in the first half will be attacking the Gander Green Lane end of the ground. So presumably they lost the toss. Lincoln knowing they favour that end of the ground in the second half and forced them to attack that part of the stadium in the first half and we're underway and Lincoln have a throw in. Will Puddy who will now be here at the club until the end of this current National League season his loan's been extended from Bristol Rovers Coombs goes down looks at the referee that was inside the penalty box he can't believe it wasn't a penalty there'll be a long one into the penalty area five Sutton players to aim for Headed away, only as far as Deacon Collins on the turn. And sends the ball towards the club shop. Sam Havergum. Aiming for Reed. He wins the header. Puts the ball back into the penalty area, cleared away by stretching Jamie Collins. Lincoln retrieved possession. Havergum. Once again, trying to pick out Reed. Pushes Bailey in the back. Sean Long will take this uh, throw in. Woodyard offers himself for the uh, short option. Arnold comes short as well. It'll be a long one instead towards the near post. Oh, God, that came off a certain player and flew into the arms of uh, Will, Pud Will Puddy. Two minutes to play in the first half. And it's goalless between the FA Cup giant killers of 2016-17. Beat the sides, beat the likes of AFC Wimbledon. Manquart with a long throw in. Headed away by Reed, only as far as the Manqua. Teasing cross in, headed just over the top. Took a deflection off a Lincoln player. Onto Arnold. He's at the far post. Well kept in by Hawkridge. We've got a minute to, to be added on at the end of this first half. We're into the minute. Raggett sends it forward. Cleared away by Collins. Reed's effort was blocked by uh, Jamie Collins and cleared away by Cuddogan. Waterfall sends it back to his goalkeeper, Paul Farman. And Jamie Collins has urged the assistant referee to put up his flag. And the assistant referee. Ben Cobb paid attention to Jamie Collins screaming for the linesman to put his flag off and he duly delivered. We're not allowed to call him linesman these days, assistant referees. Ben Cobb of the Cobbs. And there goes the half time whistle here at Gander Green Lane. It's been an attritional first 45 minutes neither side really creating any chances of note so it's half time and it's Sutton United nil
at Lincoln City now. Attacking from left to right, the visitors. And Habergan with an early touch. Sends it towards Reed and on to Arnold. Power, now Woodyard. Abergam switches play to Long. Well intercepted, well read by Rory Deacon. Everything to his right. Gomez and Coombs joining him. Decides to go alone and wins the corner kick. Deacon with the corner kick. Headed away by Power and as far as Eastman. Headed away by Woodyard. Cadogan. Looking to play in Gomez. Habergum with an in swinger. High towards the far post. Rackets there! Hits the crossbar. Cleared away by Coombs. Woodyard sends it in. Cody gobbles it up. The woodwork and the crossbar in particular denying Lincoln from taking the lead. Gomez picks out Kadogan. Coos makes a run towards the near post, cleared away by Waterfall. Throwing, quite fortunate to do so. This place passed by Jamie Collins, so a Manqua will launch this in towards the near post. Into the chest of Deacon. Can he get a cross in? Does do so. That was inviting, really, for Biamu and Coombs. Arnold tries to skip past to Manqua, but he gets there. For John. Arnold coming forward, picks out Angle, Anderson and Reed, and marks inside the penalty area. Collins falls to Reed. Tremendous save from Puddy. A quite tremendous save from Will Puddy. How did he keep that out? Long thrown from Long. Played away by May. May back to Eastman. It's a loose ball. Falls to Whitehouse. And now Arnold. Had a quiet evening so far. Puts in a deep cross. Amanqua gets there before Reed. Logan has space to run into. Comes in field, nice pass to Deacon. Eastman making a run to his right. Deacon! He's always rising, just as he... Anderson, Manqua. Wins that challenge. It's a corner kick. Ten minutes to play. It's goalless. And it's corner king. High towards the far post. It's gone in. And it's Whitehouse who's opened the scoring for Lincoln.
deep corner kick to the far post. And Elliot Whitehouse made no mistake from a couple of yards out. It's Sutton nil, Lincoln one. Avergon with the uh, throw into the head of Reed. John once again gets their first May on to Cadogan. Anderson clears only as far as Cadogan. Puts in there, cross towards the far post. Bailey gets up there. Barnum under pressure from uh, Dundas. Did well. Collected the ball very safely underneath his crossbar. Dundas wins the header. Falls to Deacon. Gets a shot up! That was a superb strike from Rory Deacon. And that's the equaliser. And it's Sutton United 1, Lincoln City 1. And how about that? And the drama just does not stop this season at Gander Green Lane. Into the final minute of the four. have been added on at the end of this game. And can Sutton sniff out a winner? Is Biamu on to Kadogan. And now to Deacon. Raggett gets it away. Played a minute over the four, and it's um, heading towards the draw, and there's the full-time whistle, and it's ended Sutton 1, Lincoln 1, both goals in the last 10 minutes of the second half. Lincoln took the lead after 82 minutes through the head of Elliot Whitehouse from a corner kick, and then into time added on at the end of the game, Rory Deacon with a quite superb strike from all of 25 yards out. Full time then at Gander Green Lane, where the drama just does not stop this season. Sutton United 1, Lincoln City 1.